This is a record we did not want to break. Gas prices at all time highs this morning in LA and Riverside County. Yes, 647 a gallon in mm. LA. That breaks the record we set in June. I don't know who's behind it, but it's out of control in my opinion. I don't know. Something's got to be done, you think? Something's got to be done. So when people can't afford to fill up and get to work, it is inhuman. A new consumer watchdog report finds California refiners are making a windfall profit as much as one dollar per gallon in the last reporting period and perhaps double that in the next. Refineries actually keep our market starved. They do it on purpose. She says problem is the refineries don't keep reserves. So when there is a shutdown, they must buy more expensive gas on the open market. Do we ask the governor to call a special session of the legislature to look at a windfall profits tax. And that is exactly what the governor has decided to do. And that's why I've called a special session of the legislature to implement a price gouging penalty on greedy oil companies. The tax on oil company profits is something consumer watchdogs Jamie Court talked about recently right here on our show. Uh, uh, appears the governor was was watching you because what he pitched today was essentially exactly what you said. How would this actually work? Well, we're talking uh, right now about how, how to make it work. But the good thing is we have a new law taking effect in January that requires the oil refiners to publish every month their profits per gallon. So our bill, SB Senate Bill 1322, will require state oil refineries to publicly disclose the average monthly price that they pay for crude oil and the profit margins that they're making. The Consumer Watchdog has been pushing on this issue relentlessly. With a press strategy, engaging with elected officials, pushing the regulators, they've been there. Gas prices in California have increased by a record 84 cents per gallon in just over one week. That's a $2.50 difference compared to U.S. prices. It just doesn't add up. Special session tomorrow in Sacramento. Will the lawmakers, democratically controlled, as you know, will they side with their own governor or will they side with the oil companies? I'd like to invite Jamie Court, representing commuter, uh, consumer watchdog. California has been an ATM for them for a long time, but now it's become like a 401k. I mean, it, and I want to thank the governor for taking on this issue. Uh, this is the problem, in my view. Five oil refiners make 97% of our gasoline. And when they want to squeeze us, they can. They've got all kinds of data points on this. And I looked through them, Jamie, and I appreciate you joining us on CBC. And you, you make a pretty good case. A consumer watchdog group says the five biggest refineries quadrupled their profits the first nine months of the year. There's no question that we have windfall profits. The question now is whether the oil companies are going to have to give them back. They're screwing it. They're taking advantage of you because they think they can get away with it. And what we're trying to do is say, enough, we're done. Newsom initially wanted to impose a windfall tax, but that didn't have enough legislative support. A new version of the measure now puts the power to consider, develop, and implement the price gouging penalty into the hands of the California Energy Commission, a group of people appointed by the governor. It's time for some accountability, and we'll be the first state in the nation to do that. The California Senate today voted 30 to 8 to approve Governor Gavin Newsom's proposal. Thank you, Jamie. What you did, what so many of the environmental justice organizations did, what labor did. California's price gouging law is officially in effect. <laughs> Lawmakers approved creating an independent watchdog within the state's energy commission. They will monitor oil prices, investigate spikes, and have the power to subpoena oil execs. This is just the start. We're standing up the nation's first big oil watchdog to monitor the industry 24-7, rooting out illegal price gouging in real time, helping you keep money in your pocket.